Okay, everybody, if you want to come in, uh, we've got some seats right over here if you guys want to come in and sit a little closer. We also have a couch over here, which is comfy. You know, so please feel free to come over, get closer. Uh, you know, no snuggling. We actually don't allow that here at Hollywood WordPress. Bam. But, but you can be close. You can sit close to people. We allow that. Um, this is Hollywood WordPress. I'm Greg. You can find us if you go to, well, you've already found us. So um, you can find the blog at HollywoodWP.com. Uh, it's good to see some new folks here tonight. You're new, right? First time here? Yes. All right. Um, so now I'm speaking on the mic, and I'm going to start talking like this. Um, so we've been holding this meetup for a while now, year and a half, two years, and we are the coolest WordPress meetup in Southern California. With the best hair. With the best hair. <laughs> There's other people that claim to have good hair. I know there's a guy on Pasadena, Alex Vasquez. He says <laughs> he, he has good hair. hair. He, he's got he's pretty good hair. Head to head hair you know. Douglas. That's right. Yeah, I'm issuing the challenge right now. Alex, if you're watching this, I'm gonna have a hair off. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've been doing this thing and uh, WordPress has changed even since we started this. Um, I was just talking to these guys a little bit about uh, how things are changing and ebbing and flowing, but there's lots of different ways of connecting with the WordPress community. Um, we have Word Camps that happen once a year. Next week is Orange County Word Camp that's happening. And then in September, Word Camp Los Angeles is happening, which is going to be awesome. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, what is our URL, Natalie, for WordCamp Los Angeles 2015? LA.wordcamp.org. It's, say it again. LA. LA. WordCamp. LA.wordcamp.org. And then that'll take them to the 2015 version. All right. So pretty soon there's going to be signups for that. Look out for that. Um, there's, uh, if you guys are in some other part of Los Angeles and you're not in Hollywood, there are other meetups that are meeting around Los Angeles. There's one in Pasadena that's pretty cool. Topanga. Uh, there is the one at Clever Dog. What is that one? 101. 101. That's at Cle Clever Dog. And then what's the name of the main one? Uh, Word the WordPress meetup. SoCal WordPress. That meets on two sides of town. Um, are they even? I haven't even seen a meetup in a while. Is that just not even happening right now? Okay. So don't look that one up. Um, so that's the main stuff that's happening. What else is going on in the WordPress community? Jeff? That's, that's basically it for now. Um, we do have some guests here from Uncubed. Do you guys want to come up really quick and just let the people know what you guys have going on? Okay, cool. <laughs> So, yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm actually here from Chicago, and Jess is from New York, and we're part of a company called Uncubed. Um, and we do an event series um, in New York and LA and San Francisco, Chicago, and we have the best hair of any tech <laughs> startup event series. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, what we're working I already on feel like there's a kinship yeah. you know, between what we're doing in the WordPress community and what you guys are doing there. Uh, Mainly around the hair thing. Right, so that's around it. tech. That's it. Although tech could <laughs> sort of be a part of that. Yeah, a little bit. So what we try and do is connect um, the best companies out there in each market. Um, so they're doing something really innovative and they're also growing with people like yourselves who want to learn new skills or kind of hone the skills that they have. Um, so we also talk about jobs at our event. Um, but you're able to come meet like 30 companies. So Originate will be there, Zest Finance, um, and several others. And then take classes from their CEOs and founders and CMOs and learn new skills. And then if any of them interest you, you can talk to the recruiters directly about positions they have open. 
So that's what we're doing. The next one is LA Uncubed on the 17th of July. And if you haven't got an email yet from Greg, you will. Yeah, it'll, it'll come in the next <laughs> um, and you'll have a discount through this group. So you're able to grab your ticket and head out. And this one's going to be really fun. So they're all very fun. But this one is like summer block party style. So we'll have um, bounce castles and food trucks and music. and. It's very chill for a career fair. <laughs> so um, come out and you'll see me there. We'll have a hair off. Alright. I, I look forward to competing on a hair competition with you and I'm glad you didn't trip too hard on the pole. So um, tonight we are going to be doing a couple of cool things. Um, a little bit later we're going to have our happiness bar hour for those of you that want to connect with somebody that's a little more experienced. We have a few folks here amongst us that are very experienced. Uh, WordPress users, if you've got some specific questions about your WordPress website, you want to connect with one of them, we're going to have time for that in a little while. But first, I'd like to introduce a friend of mine, David Hensel. He is the co-founder, or one of the co-founders. How many co-founders are there? They are technically three, but with us on the Okay, so two, all right, there's two co-founders, he's one of them, uh, for Max CDN. Who here knows what a CDN is? Does everybody know? All right. So, you know what, I'm just gonna let David like explain this, because I know like he'll just do a much better job of it than me. Um, but uh, he's also gonna be uh, speaking to us tonight, talking to us about how we can use Net, Net Promoter uh, system to promote our WordPress websites. So? Not really, but yeah, you'll see. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm gonna let you explain that too. All right, all right so I'm, I'm gonna bring you up right now. So this is right. David, just give him a little round of applause. Thank you, thank you. So, just about my speakers notes, but just lay these together. So actually, we can start off, we're talking about the Net Promoter Store today, and um, it's a pretty awesome system that we've been using at Maxident for a while. And I talked to a buddy of mine, Chris Lemon, uh, before he gave his talk at WordCamp San Diego, how he was using it at Emphasis, his previous company, before he joined um, our favorite, and how we're using it. And he asked during his talk, who knows what NPS is, and two hands went up. So it's, it's not really known in the WordPress environment. So out of curiosity, do you mind raising a hand if you've heard about NPS before? Nobody? Well, it stands for Net Promoter System, and it's a, it's a technique how you can survey your customers and figure out and segment them into people that really like your product and that might be promoters for you, and people who are not liking your product. There you go. Um, and it's, you can get very valuable feedback. How many people have told me there's this thing that you can use for your business that will make your customers fall in love with you? and it will reduce your churn, it's going to increase your profits, it will make your employees happy. Um, I would have probably, probably told him that he's full of shit, that something like this probably doesn't exist. That I do not want to buy this multi-level marketing and get rich quick thing. So, um, but it actually exists, you know what, it's not really um, well known. Before we get into this, um, let's do a quick round of introductions. My name is David Hensel, I'm the co-founder of Max again. We are a content delivery network, we make websites faster. And um, who has heard of Max again before? So next slide again. Alright. That's good. A few of you um, might use us and not knowing it because the main WordPress hosts like um, WP Engine, Pressable, Pagely, um, a bunch more are using us um, and uh, offering it, offering our service to, to their customers and they might not be know it. So Net Promoter Score, as I mentioned before, it's a technique how you survey your customers and figure out what they like about your product and who the guys are that don't like your product and the ones that are your promoters. Um, one, it's, Net Promoter Score is all about delighting the customers and wowing the customers. And uh, a company that does an excellent job at this is Zappos. You're probably familiar with Zappos, uh, you know, Las Vegas, Tony Shea, who wrote the book Delivered Happiness. And they go really above and beyond to make sure that their customers are are happy and they spend less on marketing because the, their, their customers become their marketing engine. Um, if, you, if you have read the book Delivering Happiness, 
they really go home and beyond in terms of providing an excellent service. They were hanging out, and Tony Shea and a few friends were in a small city and they, it was pretty late, they wanted to order pizza and they couldn't find pizza. And one of his friends challenged him to say like, hey, call up your um, support or your, your, your sales line and see if they order us pizza. Not, not revealing who they are and they actually ordered them pizza. Just like right? an amazing service. Um, or another thing that Zappos does is if you want to order something and it's out of stock, they actually go to competitors, find three competitor links that have what you want to buy and send it to you. And this might sound a little counterintuitive that this uh, makes you money, but it really ties customers to you because you bought them uh, through amazing service. Um, and as you know, these days, word of mouth is the most powerful uh, marketing tool there is, especially with social media, where um, the opinion about your company is always amplified, either in a negative way or in a positive way. And also it feels really great to provide an amazing service. With service, I want to talk about service real quick. I have a being of service is my personal mantra. I always want to provide a great service to the people around me, to, to our employees, to our customers, to um, my wife, even sounds like a weird to my body as well, to make sure I feed my body properly and I get enough sleep and exercise, etc. Um, and when Greg asked me to speak here, I thought that telling me about being of service for you guys could be talking about MPS because I think it's an awesome tool, even if you have a small company, you can really use it to um, make a big difference. So NPS, it's not only a score, it's um, We've been using it at Maxian for quite some time, and I always thought, yeah, it's kind of cool, you know who likes you and who doesn't like you, but then I saw a presentation by Fred Reichelt, who invented MPS, and it really blew me away what is possible with this simple thing. So they started calling it Net Promoter Store in the beginning, but then they changed it to Net Promoter System. Um, it's, yeah. Kind of, I wanted to spare you showing you the most used picture in the presentation, which is take the blue or the red pill, you know, just, <laughs> just follow after the, the success kit. Um, but it's really take the blue or the red pill, you'll really find out what your customers think about you, and this can be very pretty or it can be pretty ugly, you know, so be, be, be ready. A few companies that are using it um, Enterprise Rent a Car. Uh, I worked a lot with Fred Reichelt, 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 it's a German name, it's hard to pronounce it. Um, and they attribute their success that they became the biggest rental car company um, in the world to, to Net Promoter Score. And a few others. Um, Fred Reichelt is also on the board of, um, of Rackspace, whose you know, fanatical support is their tagline. You know, so they, um, they are really about, all about the customer. One of the core values of Zappos, I forgot to mention, is um, we want to wow our customers through service. So, um, usually surveys are not a friend of service. Surveys generally really suck when you take them as a customer because they're long and it takes up your time. And um, when you, uh, often they're not really actionable for the person receiving the survey. You know, we did long service before and there was like, you know, no, no good use for it. Um, but Fred Reichert found a way to really boil it down to only one question. One question that you ask um, your customers to um, determine if they, they like you or not. And this question is, how likely would you recommend us to a colleague or a friend? And if it's a B, B product, it's more like to, to a friend or family. But this question is very loaded because you, if you refer something to you know, family, you really have skin in the game because you want to make sure that they have uh, a good experience. And um, you ask your customer these questions and then you let them rate, they rate you from 0 to 10. 0 is they don't like it at 10. 10 they, um, they, they're crazy about your product. And then you ask them why. It's an open-ended question where they can give you feedback. What's really wrong with your, with your product or what, what they like. There's a few NPS types. There's transactional NPS, which you do after every tra transaction with your customer, if it's a support ticket or if it's somebody buying something in the supermarket or in a store, like at Apple, for example. 
Um, and it's periodic that you do it twice a year where you figure out the overall happiness of the pop. You send them um, through an email and this figures out the overall happiness with your product versus the transaction is more how happy um, are they with the representative they work with. And you can use this on customers and also on employees. We, for example, survey our employees once a year to figure out how, you know, if they really like working for us uh, or not. And we're a pretty awesome place to work with a net promoter score of 100, which is, everybody was a promoter. This is how, um, how the net promoter score is calculated. You have to be trackers that rate from 0 to 6. The passives that are um, mad, the passives will, if there's a, your product offering cheaper somewhere, they'll, they'll, they don't really stick to you. And then there's the promoters that will be positive word of mouth about you. And they will even pay a higher price for your product because they, they just really think you're your service. And you calculate it by, let's say you survey 100 people, uh, or you get 100 responses, and 60 of them are promoters, and 25 of them are detractors. And then you do 60 minus 25, and this will give you an NPS of 35. So once you've done this, you know where the, your customers stand, and then you have to take action. For the detractors, that's a, a zero to six, that's a disaster. This can never happen again. And you have to make sure that you will make them happy and buy. You have to reach out to them, you have to give them a discount, you have to give them your product free, or you know, like, in, in our case, the top management even calls people up. It's not just a, a contract that, that calls them back to make sure that this will never happen again. And um, with this, this feedback, you can also very nicely shape your um, your product offering. This will define your product roadmap, what people like about the product and what not. And often reveals bad profits. I was not, um, before I saw the presentation from Fred, Fred Reichelt, I didn't know what bad profits were, but um, it turns out that we also have some bad profits at next again. Our customers told us. Um, and the press ran the car, figured out that if uh, one of the bad profits that makes people really upset about their, their offering was um, when they charge 3x of the gas price when you return the car. You know, it's like, even if you would experience this little tiny thing that makes you some money, but this like really turns people into these factors and they will negatively talk about you, will not come again, and um, you know, it's something that's very simple to fix. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that. With promoters, The feedback from promoters um, is very valuable. You just see what's really awesome about the product, and I really do more of this. You know, if you can afford it, it's, um, people are excited that you offered them the product for free. It's well, not good at all, but um, one interesting thing with promoters for me was that I, you know, when I want product feedback or if I want the testimonial from somebody. Um, I can reach out to the people that I'm really close with, but if I need something specific, it's I don't want to send out an email to 100 customers begging for, you know, can you help me out here? Can you, you know, do you mind taking this in-depth in talk review? But with this, you just go through the list of the 9 and 10s, and it's, it's very easy. These people who want your product, they're, they're willing to help you. This made, made everything a lot easier for us. And for, you know, a few of you are developers. Often when you work with a bigger client and you run MPS with this client with all the people who work for, for, for this client, you can figure out who's your champion in there. So if you want to follow up contract or if there's any issues with, you know, that you have with somebody of the team that you're working with, you can reach out to the guy who's, you know, who's, who's your promoter, who's your champion, and help you to, to solve those things. Um, NPS makes management decisions very easy, like removing bad profits, um, and also staff decisions. You know, like if you, it really tells you if one of your employees is, you know, a bad apple, and it tells you who's a real rock star, and can, you know, it's going to make it easier to, to let somebody go if it really doesn't work out. But it also makes it easier to bring the two together, the one who's really killing it and the one who's not good, and you know, they can they can learn from each other. Um, to 
make MPS work in a big organization, you have to really make it the number one priority. And everybody has to live and breathe this. It has to come up in every meeting. If there is a detractor coming in, we have to make a big deal out of it. You know, it has to be in management meetings, it has to be not the number one topic. Um, I, for example, uh, we, we send out the customer, when a customer review, review comes in, the whole management team always gets an email. And um, thank God there are not so many detractors in there. Um, I want to sh show you quickly how we use MPS at MaxIDN. We use Promoter.io, which is a tool um, to do MPS surveys. It's, uh, it's, if you only survey 25 people, it's free, so I want to highly encourage you to just sign up and try it out and see how, you know, what's up with the customers. Um, and we use transactional and support chats and support tickets. But we also go one step further in this um, goes into the positioning piece in terms of how do we differentiate us from, from other CDM providers. Um, and let's say you're a dev shop and you uh, compete for a deal. If you measure your NPS and you can show the customer that, hey, you know what, we have an NPS of 80, all our customers are, are really happy, this project will be a success. You know, so it's, it's going to be a nice marketing tool to convince people. Let's see, yeah, let's transfer this page. Um, we decided to publicly show our the customer feedback that we're getting. Um, we anonymize it so there's no um, you know no publicly identifiable information from our customers in there. And as you can see here the ratings are, are mostly ten with an MPS overall of, of ninety-six. And we haven't launched this page yet, but we are we broke it in. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So um, doing something like this, it also really rallies the, the team, the support team. They really compete with each other who has the highest score, etc. And it's like if you have someone like this in place, it, you don't have to really manage any work because people are just driven to you know, succeed. And we decided to publicly display this, A, because it's good, but also it has to, you know, it has to stay good. Below this we show our network performance also publicly. The thinking behind this is if you want to lose weight, the best thing is probably to run around naked because there's nothing you can hide, you know, and then it holds everybody very accountable to, um, you know, to, to actually perform. The only problem is if it's really bad, then you just don't care anymore. It's near this colony, but let's prove that. But yeah, um, uh, I'll go get back. So, Promote.io, really cool tool. Um, Full disclosure, we like the tool so much that we did a little seed investment into them. Not that we think that we're going to make a lot of money from it, but we like it and we want to support them. And the book, The Ultimate Question, that you can ask your customer by a friend. Reichelt. How do you pronounce this in English? Reichelt? I guess. Yeah. So, um, if you have any questions or if you want to maybe open talk about how you can use MPS specifically for, for your um, company.